my fellow gamers, UltraGamer64 here, and today I have got a brand new game to play for you guys. We are going to be playing Soda Dungeon today. Now, this is a free game on Steam that I recently found. I think it was either yesterday or the day before that, and it is so fun and so awesome. So if you guys want to, go check it out on Steam. Uh, it's a really, really, really cool game. Now, you guys will notice that I have the audio muted. Um... That's because when I try to record audio for this game, uh, for some reason the audio is really, like, staticky and scratchy and everything. So I will input different soundtracks from the game, um, on the appropriate places where they need to go. So if I'm in a certain level, I will apply the music for that level. So, um, getting that out of the way, let's get right into the game. As you can see, I am at level 80 on my own game with two hours spent. But, we're going to be starting a new game today. It is the booming age of outrageous adventurers and dungeons bursting with riches. Sadly, you happen to be a coward without a penny to your name, which makes raiding the nearby dungeons somewhat of a challenge. Sitting at the local soda tavern, you wonder if there could be a solution. So basically, the setup to this game is the soda tavern attracts different customers, and you must recruit them to adventure with you and raid this dungeon. Another slow night at the tavern as you ponder your destiny if only others could be pursued, persuaded to do your adventure, do the adventuring for you. Why there appears to be quite the hyper fellow over there, perhaps you should talk to him. So junky. I ain't scared of nobody. You watch me, let's go, yeah, yeah, let's go. Apparently the soda here makes it easy to convince people to do outrageous things for you. Perhaps Carolyn lies a new model of business. Soda Junkie has joined your party. Check your party at the bottom of the screen. So as you can see, um, here we can view our stats. Uh, there's combat, health, and magic. Er, health, combat, and magic power. <coughs> Excuse me. That's something stuck in my throat. Uh, right here we have armor. Uh, your weapon, your shield, and then your item. Now, some characters can hold two items. So that's very, very helpful. We go back up. Now we're going to go into the dungeon. This guy is really pumped up. He's in the mood for a fight. Follow him into the dungeon. Alright, so when it's your character's turn, just click on the enemy to attack. And the point of this game is to get as far in the dungeon and collect as much money as you possibly can. Um, you will die eventually. There's no way, like, unless you're super, super, super powerful, you're not going to have a clean run. Like, you're going to die off eventually. Uh, last night, you can just turn on auto, by the way. There's an auto feature, so your character will attack for you. Um... Last night, I just left the auto on with, like, the best team that I could make. I had some really good armor, really good shields, really good weapons, just all that kind of stuff. And eventually, I still died. I just kind of sat around, waited for it to happen. So, you will, you will die eventually in this game. It's normal. But there he goes. Oh my god, what am I doing? I don't want to die. I have a wife and kids. I <laughs> Your party has been wiped out, but your fighter left all his loot behind. Grab it and head back to the tavern. So, as you can see, we have gotten 13 gold and slain 4 enemies from that experience. It seems an opportunity has presented itself. Maybe you should try again. Ooh, maybe I should. Let's hire this guy. Let's join your party. Sometimes it's crazy to bring an item or two along with them. Check your equipment in the party screen or head back. So, for the shield, he has a bar stool. That's pretty cool. And then for his weapon, he has a bottle. So that works out pretty darn well. So let's get right back into that dungeon and fight on! I'm not going to leave the auto on because I actually want to play the game. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I actually want to play instead of just kind of sitting here, just commentating. I would actually like to do something, you know? There's no fun just to watch a game. You want to able to experience it, you want to play it. It's kind of ironic that I'm recording a YouTube video and I say there's no fun to watch a game. It's kind of ironic. And it's stupid of me to say because people love watching games. What am I talking about? Ooh, we're to the boss. Can we beat him? 
Probably not. I doubt we can. Come on, boss, what you got? M Plus, this game's um, art style and like graphic style is gorgeous. I love the graphic style of this game. Just the the um, 8 bit style characters, the 16 bit style characters. I mean, it's all great. It's awesome. I love seeing these characters come to life. They're just so cool. We get even more cool characters later on. Oh, you guys, we picked up a wooden sword. Talk to your quest in spread. It looks like some people in Kevin would like a word. Alright, here we have the shopkeeper. Greetings, adventurer. Well, ugh. Pardon the adventurers. Pardon, adventurer. I am a traveling salesman who may be able to aid you in this quest. However, I have no place to set up a shop. Shopkeeper, perhaps... Perhaps you could purchase some space for me from the owner. You'll have first dibs on whatever I buy. Now, though, please enjoy my address left for tonight. Sam will use the sale to purchase new items for your quest. Don't forget to have with the item. Category. So here we can buy some very useful items. We can buy a wooden sword, we can buy a wooden shield, and then we can buy this beauty, the Stone of Sight, which I freaking love. It allows you to see the HP of enemies during the battle. So I'm going to buy that. And I already have a wooden sword, so I don't need to worry about that. But, go out of here. Hey there, friend. It looks like you've turned a profit with your dungeon scheme. See, I think we can help each other out. The soda boy here isn't gonna get you very far. But if you help me fix this place up a bit, you'll see some new clients coming through. Clients that you're interested in venturing? What do you say? Invest in schools, tables, to seat more adventurers. You can hire up to five party members for each trip. Increasing the reputation will attract high profit profile customers to your establishment. So here, we can buy different upgrades for the We have school, uh, tables, armory, um, cast, the wizard, which is very, very helpful, beds, floor, kitchen, and the banker. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna buy more stools to try and get more people in here. Like for our next raid. Now I gotta look at the sodas menu. And here we can buy more sodas to attract more people to the tavern. This lets you get stronger enemies, or stronger allies. That's very, very cool. That's a very cool. I love the way this game works. It's a very cool, like, RPG like process. So now he is equipped, automatically equipped, with a wooden sword and shield. So let's get right back into the dungeon and let's see how this goes. What I am. See, it shows the little, like, health bar below the enemies. I just think that's a really, really nice thing to have. I like to see the he health of my enemies when I'm slaying them. I like to see their health slowly drop to zero. <laughs> Alright, let's kill the evil rabbit. I think that we can beat this- No, we can't beat this dungeon. Never mind. There's too many enemies coming up. We need, um, more- more party members. Um, the thing about this game, it's like, it's kind of a quantity kind of game. Like, you gotta have a lot of characters. You need to have all five to be able to get to the end of a dungeon, for the most part. Like, this first dungeon you can get through with two or three. Uh, the next one, three or four. But then, pretty much after that point, you need all five to get through, because there are at least four enemies that, well, at the max, there can be four enemies that attack you. And one guy, or two guys, or three guys even, can't really take down four enemies that well. So, you guys are gonna want five, or five allies eventually. I'm not saying right away. But, eventually. Go back to the tavern. And as you can see, now there's two of them. So now, we can make it even farther in the dungeon. What do you have? Oh yeah, the wooden sword. I don't need a wooden sword, I already got them from the... Why is the help book flashing? Oh, cool. The ruffian, conscript, fighter, conjurer, healer, thief, knight, merchant, dark mage, rage, zerker, and shifter. Whoa. That's pretty sweet. That's cool. I want those guys. 
is going to be a fun game to play. I am excited to play this game with you guys. Uh, let's buy... I don't know. I guess let's buy the armory. We'll get him set up with some armor and stuff. Thanks, you won't regret this. Alright, so we now we can buy um, iron everything. And stones. The stones are useless. The stones are, like, never used at all. Do not waste your money on them. Alright, we're gonna go get some more money, and we are going to work... Oh, crap, he's stuck with a wooden shield. Okay, yeah, let's not do that. Let's buy him a wooden shield if I can. I can't even buy him a wooden shield. What sucks? Dang it. Alright, let's get him. Move on. So now we have two characters, so when we attack, we can attack twice instead of once. That is very, very useful. Um, considering if there are two enemies on screen, or three, we can attack the same enemy or two different enemies, um, pretty much at the same time. So, as you can see here, instead of taking damage from that extra enemy that would have been left from the one guy, uh, now we can take him out. Then they can attack this guy better, and we lose less health overall. So that's pretty freaking sweet. I mean, like I said, um, safety in numbers, guys. Safety in numbers in this game. Chicken. The evil chicken, because he has red eyes. What did I say like that? Bam! Ghost is dead. Ghost slug's dead. Chicken's dead. Guys, we met. We might make it to the end of this dungeon. I honestly think that we can. We might be able to complete this dungeon. Our first dungeon complete the first part. That's pretty awesome. Darn good, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, there we go. Guys, I think that we can actually beat this guy. 30? Yeah, we should be able to. As long as he doesn't master us. Oh, he does 3 damage. Okay, there's two guys. Um, uh, 11. We should have this, if I'm calculating right, hopefully. I'm gonna turn on auto because it's worthless to me to click. I mean, I'm not gonna change the outcome if I click rather than auto, so. No! He's dead! Crap! He might have this. He has it! Guys! We got past the first dungeon already! Heck yeah! There we go! That's what I'm talking about. 32 gold. That's the jackpot right now. Oh, we got the turtle shield. Dang. That turtle shield is extremely helpful, guys. Like, the turtle shield is very powerful. It saves you from a lot of damage. I mean, granted, there's better shield, but at this point, that's pretty darn good. Now we can afford all this stuff. Ooh, the healing stone. That's very useful as well. Let's buy the shield. Let's buy the sword. You know, let's buy two of each. For two guys. There were two guys in the tavern, right? I think so. Yep, there were. So let's hire you. Let's hire you. And as you can see, now they are equipped with full iron armor, and that guy has a turtle shield. So that is pretty darn cool. I no, I can't find anything. Right. Alright, we're gonna go through the dungeon once more, and then I think it will be the end of this episode, guys. So, let's get rocking. We're gonna turn on auto, because I am feeling lazy, and I just want to see my guys murder everything in time. And as you can see, the armor and the shields, of course, um, heighten their HP. So, the more armor and better shields that you have, the more HP you have, and then the better weapon will increase your attacking power and combat power. So that is very, very useful. The magic power only comes into use, like, really later on, like around the 50th or 60th dungeon. So, yeah, that comes in later. Uh, we're not, I'm not gonna worry about explaining magic power at this current moment. I will explain it later once it actually comes into use from the different characters that we unlock. 
and the way that you unlock new characters, you buy different sodas, and then they are attracted by those sodas, and then they come in and sit in your beautiful tavern, and they just order drinks and just chill out. So yeah, <laughs> that's how you attract people to your tavern, buy new sodas, and set up some nice looking stools and such. Should be able to take this boss out pretty easy. See, now we can take this boss down a lot faster and a lot easier than before with these um, iron swords. That's pretty darn cool. Pretty darn tootin'. I don't know why I said that. I have no idea. Don't judge me. And there we go. He's dead already. Hopefully we can get another turtle shield. 32 gold. That's very nice. Yes, that's what I was wanting. Oh, thank goodness. That is so welcome. The turtle shield is always welcome. The turtle shield is great. Love the turtle shield. Going. There we go. Let's see if we can kill this goblin. If we can get to at least, like, this one before the mini boss, then that would be awesome. Oh, yeah, by the way, the meter is up top. Um, each one of these little skulls represents an enemy encounter. Each one of these, the red skulls, um, represent a mini boss. And then the black skull and crossbones represent a boss. So, I don't know. I didn't explain that before, so I apologize for that. Alright, let's see. We got a turtle shield, two wooden swords, and a rock. That's pretty nice. Alright, we're gonna upgrade the tavern real quick. And then, that will be the end of this episode, guys. So we can upgrade the stools, and we can upgrade the table. So there we go. So in the next episode, when we come back, we should have a lot more dudes in here. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the first episode of Soda Dungeon, then please be sure to leave a giant like, and remember to keep on gaming. Stay amazing, and I will see you guys next time.